All right. It is Thursday, September 6, 2018 at 1.12 p.m. Let's take a look at the weather. All right. We got Olivia, Hurricane Olivia. She's a Category 3 hurricane. Maximum sustained winds 105 knots or 120 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure 159 millibars. Located at 18.4 north and 127.2 west. Movement west northwest at 13 knots or 50 miles per hour. Disturbance 1 is right behind it with a chance of cyclone formation in 48 hours, low at 30 percent, and a chance through five days high at 70 percent of forming. Another storm. All right, Norman is right next to Hawaii. It is in location 20.7 north and 150.5 west with maximum sustained winds of 115 miles per hour. Movement west northwest at eight miles per hour. All right, so Norman is right next to Hawaii. Let's take a look here. There's some rain bands moving from Norman. Um, some rain uh, reaching Hawaii, very light rain, but there is uh, surf already um, being said that uh, is affecting the island. As you see here, Norman, how close it is to Hawaii. Right there. Alright, let's take a look at Norman. Powerful Hurricane Norman pushes up surf across island chain. This is from Honolulu, Hawaii News Now. Hurricane Norman is forecast to pass about 200 miles northeast of the Hawaiian Islands on Thursday and Friday, forecasters say. The storm remains a major Category 3 hurricane and is pushing up surf across the island chain. A high surf warning is in effect for east-facing shores of the islands. At 5 a.m. Thursday, Hurricane Norman was 305 miles east northeast of Hilo and 140 miles east of Honolulu and traveling west northwest near 8 miles per hour. The storm weakened slightly, packing maximum sustained winds near 150 miles per hour uh, with higher gusts. Norman's current forecast means the storm is likely to bring high surf to the islands, but no other major impacts to land. Even so, forecasters are urging residents to monitor Norman's track over the coming days. It is very important to keep an eye on the hurricane because you never know what a hurricane will do. You don't know if it's going to steer north or it's going to hit the islands. You don't know what it's going to do. So always keep an eye on hurricanes. Hurricane force winds extend 30 miles from the center of the hurricane, while tropical storm force winds extend 105 miles from the center. Behind Norman is Hurricane Olivia, which is now a major hurricane. Olivia became a hurricane on Monday afternoon, the ninth of the season, in the eastern Pacific region. Alright, so, there is Olivia behind that. But let's take a look now at Olivia is a Category 3. So hopefully that will not intensify. Alright, also, Gordon is still affecting the uh, regions of Tennessee, Mississippi, Louisiana, the Tropical Depression, Gordon. It is at 10 knots or 10 miles per hour with minimum uh, central pressure of uh, 1,014 millibars located at 13.3 north and 91.2 west. Movement north-northwest at 4 knots or 5 miles an hour. Alright, also Florence. Florence has weakened. Hurricane Florence is now Category 2. Maximum sustained winds of 90 knots or 105 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure of 975 millibars. Located 24.6 north, 48.6 west. Moving uh, northwest at 9 knots or 10 miles per hour. And then there is disturbance 1 in the Atlantic with 70% chance of cyclone formation in 48 hours, which is 70%. And formation chance through five days high at 90%. And then there's also disturbance two uh, on the coast of Africa uh, with a 10% chance in 48 hours of development and in five days 50% chance of development. All right, let's take a look at the National Weather Service. Hawaii area is under a hurricane watch. 
the areas of Arkansas and central Mississippi are in flash flood watch and flash flood warnings and south southwestern Missouri has a flood flood watch all right let's take a look at Venta sky this is Norman right close to Hawaii you see here Norman is in uh, 79 to 78 degrees of water as it gets closer to Hawaii it is 81 to 80 degrees water hopefully it does not hit Hawaii but always keeping an eye now that it's closer to land um, for the possibility of it actually reaching land also this is Olivia here uh, behind Norman it is a couple of days behind all right let's take a zoom out and look at Florence which is in the Atlantic Florence is sitting in 80 81 degrees 81 degrees 79 degrees yeah 80 81 degrees uh, of, of water let's take a look at Florence this is Florence which seems to have fallen apart the hurricane I is gone it seems to have broken up I don't know if it will actually intensify again and rebuild the eye wall but that is what Florence looks like right now which is great news for the East Coast hopefully it breaks apart it doesn't even reach the East Coast at all and it just broke up all right let's take a look at the Atlantic wide this is what it looks like right now above Cuba and right on uh, on the uh, Atlantic side of Florida there seems to be circulation and storms um, I don't know why they haven't brought this up in the um, national the NOAA map the hurricane center um, but this there's storms circulating there uh, just a lot of rain there also Florence there broken up and then the disturbance one behind it and then off the coast of Africa another squall of rain also you see remnants of Gordon just breaking up and falling apart um, over Mississippi and parts of Alabama and Louisiana hopefully it falls apart and does not keep affecting people but that area is gonna keep getting rain alright guys that's it for today's video hopefully all of these hurricanes fall apart and no more come but you never know hurricane seasons active there's more storms heading off the African coast we gotta keep an eye on uh, Norman off Hawaii so you guys stay safe out there always be prepared for hurricane season you never know what these storms are gonna do alright guys God bless